Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So this is going to be a tutorial video on how to use Rainmeter. Now for those of you who do not know, Rainmeter is a free software which allows you to add all these cool widgets on a Windows computer. So without any further delay, let's hop in. Alright guys, well step one is to click the first link in the description. So this will basically redirect you to rainmeter.net. So once you're over here, just go ahead and install this software. Now don't worry, it's completely free. And apart from that, it's really small in size. It's about 5 MB, so you do not have to worry in terms of space. And well, it barely uses your computer's resources. So yeah, just go ahead and install Rainmeter. Now once you've done that, we'll have to go to our desktop. Now as you can see, we have a couple of widgets on our screen already. Now don't worry, in just a moment, I'll show you how to get rid of this. But first up, we'll have to fire up the Rainmeter application. So just just click on this arrow in the taskbar and then choose this little rain droplet icon and it will fire up Rainmeter. Now once you have installed Rainmeter, you will have only the Illustro folder, you won't have the other two folders. So the Illustro folder is basically the base widget pack. Now to get rid of these widgets, we'll have to click on this little arrow right beside the Illustro folder. Now as you can see, this is the time widget, right? So let's click on the little arrow right beside the clock folder. Then we will see the clock INI file. So just click on this and then click on unload. And as you can see, the widget is gone. Now in the same way, if you want to get that widget back, we click on load. And as you can see, uh, you know, this particular widget has come back. So um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and unload it again. Now we'll have to go ahead and follow the exact same process for this widget as well. So this is the welcome widget. So let's just click on, uh, you know, the welcome folder click on the welcome INI file and then click on unload and well as you can see it's gone now once you have done that step two is to install a custom widget pack and I would actually recommend three websites so the first one is rainmeterhub.com so this website has a collection of some really good and well crafted widgets and yeah this is the first recommendation now talking about the second recommendation then that is deviantart.com so yeah even this particular website has a pretty dope collection in terms of uh, you know widgets and yeah highly recommend this website as well and well the third website and my favorite one is called as visualskins.com so yeah this particular website is pretty dope and one of my favorite websites in terms of getting rain meter skins so yeah, I just, uh, you know, really like the aesthetic look of these particular widgets and yeah, they're really easy to install. Now, just for the sake of this tutorial, let me actually install a skin and show you how simple it is. So let me quickly just pick a pack. So I'll pick this one, which is bold digital clock and date. So yeah, there are a few ads, but yeah, don't worry. It's completely safe. So yeah, you just, uh, you know, click on this little download button and it will download in a couple of seconds. Now installing it with Rainmeter is as simple as clicking on this arrow, clicking on open and then it will, uh, you know, come up with this small pop-up box. So just hit install and boom, you're pretty much good to go. Now, once you've done that, let's go back to our desktop. And as you can see, the widget is already on our home screen. So um, yeah, there are a few settings you can tweak as well. So let me quickly run you through that. So let's open up the Rainmeter application. Now, as you can see, there is one more, uh, you know, folder, which is called Boldy, which we just installed. So, yeah, there are a few settings. So let me actually show you. So, yeah, let's click on this arrow right beside the Boldy folder. Then we can click on the uh, red vision INI file. And then as you can see, we have a bunch of settings over here. So coordinates is basically the X and Y axis of the widget. It's basically the position. And well, you must be thinking what is position do then? So position is basically, you know, if you'd like to layer widgets. So then you use this particular setting. So if you'd like to, you know, put a lot of widgets on top of the another, then you can actually use this setting. Next up is load order. So let's not worry about this. It's nothing too important. And well, next up is transparency. So this is basically the opacity of the widget. So as you can see, it's at about 100% now, but um, I can actually decrease it and it will look, uh, you know, slightly better, especially with this wallpaper. So as you can see, the widget has actually, you know, become less bright. It goes really well with the dark wallpaper. 
so if i want to bring the opacity back i can just sit, uh, set it back to zero and boom as you can see it's back to normal now the next setting is on hover so if you basically hover over the widget with your mouse it will you know execute a particular action so for example i'll uh, you know select hide and if i move my mouse over the widget it will hide and well the moment i remove it as you can see uh, the widget is back to normal so yeah you can actually play around with this i'll sell uh, i'll set it back to do nothing now if you're someone who has multiple monitors then this particular setting will be pretty useful so with this you can select on which monitor you want the skin to show and which monitor you don't so yeah super useful and by the way if you'd like to you know move the widget around you can just move it around with your mouse like this now draggable is basically a setting which will allow you to prevent you from you know accidentally moving your widget so um currently this is checked so i am uh, you know able to move it around like this but the moment i uncheck this then whatever happens i won't be able to you know move this widget from its place so yeah just make sure to uncheck the draggable option once you have decided where you want to place the widget now the next setting is called click through so if you have some icons behind the widget and you'd like to you know access it by clicking on it then yeah just make sure to enable this setting and while talking about the next four settings then you do not have to worry about it it's not that important now this is actually just one widget pack i have used so let me just unload this and yeah like that i have a couple of more uh, you know skin packs installed one is called inside dream so let me actually uh, you know apply it and show you so click on the clock ini file click on load and as you can see uh, you know the day it shows the day date and time as well now in the same way you can install multiple uh, you know skin packs and i'll drop all these skin packs as well as all the website links in the description box below so yeah definitely install them and yeah as you can see this is a really easy way and a free way to make your computer look much better and aesthetically pleasing as well and that's basically it for this video if you guys like this video don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel and well i'll catch you guys in my next one peace out